Hey everyone, it's Victoria. I'm coming to you from my bedroom, basically. I sleep outside. I've really become very in tune with nature, and since moving to Hawaii a year and a half ago, I'm absolutely blessed with having uh, the ability to be outside uh, all year round. So, even in the rain, I'm still covered, but I absolutely love being outside. Fresh air, to me, is, is one of the best things you could encounter and be around. So my message today is about the holidays and having the feelings of feeling alone. There are people, maybe it's you right now watching, uh, that feel alone. And even if they're physically with their family, maybe they're still feeling alone. They're not getting the support they need. Maybe they're just misunderstood, they're struggling. Uh, then there are those that are really physically alone and um, either they're disabled and nobody seems to care or they just don't have any family members that they're around. Maybe they're in another country. Um, holiday times that are spent celebrating in America aren't celebrated all over the world. Obviously, Thanksgiving is an American holiday, but it's a good reminder to give thanks and to remember those that are out there alone and struggling or misunderstood. And um, you never know how your one text could brighten their entire week. Uh, give them a little bit of hope. When you're posting things on Instagram or Facebook and you're showing off your family meal, that might make someone else feel a little bit sad or a lot sad. Check up on them the next day. Uh, see how they're doing. Have a little sympathy with what you're posting. Um, I mean, I just thought about this because it, it's very easy to feel alone. It's very, very easy to feel that way. Uh, negative thoughts can get into your head really quickly, especially while seeing social media blow up with so many festivities. Of course, it's what people want you to see of their lives. Uh, they don't always show all the bad stuff in their lives. They show all the good stuff, which makes sense. So it could send people off into a depression or feeling that type of loneliness that humans feel and we all go through it and uh, we should all be sympathetic to it, to other people and um, even to yourselves if you're feeling lonely just know that it's one day of a holiday or you can get through that or these posts will end too and not everybody goes through great times at all times in their lives that's a fact and um, in the scheme of life, I mean the whole scheme of life, you you get one day or two that's going to be lonely, that's not a lot. So that's good news. You have a whole lifetime of not feeling like that. Uh, the worst thing you could do is go into a spiral of depression and just keep it going because your body, your brain does get used to it and then your body follows. So I've said this in other videos, get out of your depression by picking yourself up, reaching out to a friend. Going out of your comfort zone is as, is as good as anything else. Uh, you don't normally exercise, go walking around the block, see how it feels. The endorphins will kick in and start to feel better right away. Even if you're not 100% on your diet, even if you're not 100% doing what you want to be doing, if your goal is not coming quick enough, quickly enough, just know that today or this moment is just happening right now and you're going to go with it and you're just going to allow it to happen and see how the days unfold for you but don't get caught up in that whole depression and lonely feeling because everybody's really alone. I've discovered that um, even when you're with people you're still alone, you still have to deal with yourself. Um, I discovered when I was training for ultra marathons I was very much alone but even when I wasn't listening to anything, I was alone with my thoughts and that was okay. It was good. I got to discover who I was and who I wanted to be and where I wanted to go. And it had helped shape me. It helped shape me. It was a gift. To be alone was a gift. Some people don't talk for a week. I could actually go a whole day without hearing my voice. And that's okay. Um, listening to my own voice in my head that can go and rattle around or it can be, I can let it be quiet and just hear nothing and just hear whatever's around me. Birds or trees swaying right now is a beautiful thing to listen to and meditate to. 
Uh, nobody's saying to meditate for hours on end. That's not going to be the answer for everybody. But to just take some moments and just relax and know that the tree is still going to be the tree that was here a hundred years ago and it's still going to be the tree in a hundred years from now and the ocean's still going to be the ocean and everything is still going to be the same with or without you in it. I'm not trying to put anybody down but we are just really small pieces of this puzzle and just connect with others that are feeling a little bit lonely during holiday times. It's a big deal for people. Christmas is coming up, Hanukkah is coming up, whatever other religion, Kwanzaa, whatever religion you celebrate, whatever religion you, you uh, practice, you still have people that are going to feel the sting of being alone on the holidays. So keep that in mind and uh, reach out. Send them a text. Tell them you're thinking about them. Tell them you're grateful for them. And uh, that's it. That's basically my message. Thanks for listening. Bye.